Hello students, uh, Assalamu alaikum. In today's A's level computer science class, we are going to uh, discuss ports. Uh, port uh, is a type of hardware. It is a gateway, like a gateway to input something in computer system or to get some output. So all the devices, uh, all the peripherals, which you connect with your CPU, you connect through any of the ports. So let's see a formal definition of ports. What is a port? A port is a computer system uh, gateway, as I have told you. Computer systems send and receive data using ports. For example, keyboard port to connect and in an input keyboard data. Mouse port to input mouse in movement in computer system. And uh, nowadays, most of the devices are coming with a universal port which is called USB. So we are going to see USB ports also in detail. So let's see uh, different ports one by one. After this, I have shown here a picture. If you have a personal computer at your home, desktop computer, at the back of your CPU, you will see a number of ports. Uh, let's see one by one. These two ports are called uh, PS2 ports. One of the port is for uh, keyboard. This purple color port is for keyboard, which is connected through a PS2 keyboard connector. And similarly, this one, this green color uh, PS2 port is for mouse. So in old days, we used to connect our keyboard and mouse by using these two PS2 ports. Then come to ethernet port or network port. Uh, network port is to connect your computer with a network, right? Uh, by using this port, uh, RJ45 connector is used. RJ45. RJ45. That connector is used to uh, connect your LAN with your computer. So your computer can be connected with the LAN by using RJ45 uh, connector and this port. Then come to next one, USB port. USB port we will discuss in detail later on. After RJ45 connector or uh, uh, Ethernet port, the next port is a uh, dial-up modem port. In older days, we used to have uh, uh, dial-up modems and dial-up modems uh, could be connected by using either uh, this, uh, this serial port or by using RJ45, RJ11 connector, sorry. So we uh, dial-up modems used to be connected either by this serial port or RJ11 port uh, connector. RJ11 con connector is the same connector which you use with your uh, telephones, right? After this, the next port is the printer port or LPT port. This is a parallel port, all of these. This one is a serial port and these two are also serial ports. Uh, this LPT port or printer port is, uh, is a parallel port. You know that we have serial communication in computer system and parallel communication. Parallel communication is faster, a little faster because uh, a number of parallel lines are connected uh, using the cable. Uh, so printer port is a parallel port uh, in older days, we used to have connectors like this. So that uh, older uh, connectors of printer used to be connected by using this printer port. After this, this is a VGA port. Uh, still, uh, these are used. You will see a number of monitors connected by using VGA port. VGA port is connected uh, by using VGA cable, right? So VGA connector will be uh, inserted in this uh, VGA port and you can connect your monitor by using this one. So we are going to see VGA port also in detail later on. After this, we have game port. Uh, joystick used to be connected by this game port. And these are the sound ports. For a speaker, we used to have this kind of, still we have this kind of uh, port through which we can connect our speakers and similarly microphone and this is also for sound input but for 
microphone specifically we use this port now come to the next one The next topic is USB. As I have told you, we will discuss USB in detail. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. Now, nowadays, most of the devices in our computer system are connected by using USB port, uh, speakers, uh, mouse, keyboard, printer, uh, multimedia, projector. Most of the devices are connected by using USB ports right so usb uh, ports use uses asynchronous serial data transmission we have learned about asynchronous transmission and synchronous transmission in our o levels and about uh, serial and parallel transmission also we have learned in previous class so usb port uses asynchronous serial data transmission it has four wires inside if you cut the wire you will see there are four wires Two wires are used for power and earth, and two wires are used for data. Right? One of the biggest advantages of uh, using USB port is that whenever you connect any of the devices with this port, that device is uh, detected automatically. Because when we connect uh, the USB connector with the USB port, there would be a slight change in the voltage and that slight change is detected by the computer system and computer tries to load the driver of that particular device if the driver is not there or saved inside computer operating system then it will ask you to run uh, or, or install driver of that device then usb ports also has generations it has three generations one generation two generation three generation you uh, previously first we had usb 1.0 then we had usb 2.0 then we had usb 3.0 usb 2 and usb 3 all these three are used because uh, still we have older computers also in older computers you will find usb 1.0 and nowadays computer, computers are coming with USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. All these are different in communication speed. USB 1 has around 12 megabits per second transmission speed. So if you are connecting your uh, USB stick or pen drive by using uh, USB 1.0, because if you see all these three ports uh, in shape, in image, all these are same you will not realize it but there are symbols which are used to indicate that this is usb 1 or it will be written over there that this is usb 1 or usb 2 or usb 3 so usb 1 is the slowest one this is the older version or older generation it has the maximum speed 12 megabits per second while usb 2 has 40 times more speed than usb 1 usb 2 has around 480 megabits per second in your book they are discussing only about usb 1 and usb 2 but nowadays computers are coming with usb 3 also and usb 3 speed is around 5 gigabits per second you can see there is a lot of difference between usb 1 and usb 3 usb 1 has 12 megabits per second and usb 3 has 5 gigabits per second right so 1 gigabit means around 1000 megabits right so there is a lot of difference between usb 1 usb 2 and usb 3 and there is a difference of range also the maximum range or the maximum length of the cable which you can use with usb 2 that is 5 meters but when it comes to usb 3 it it is shortened to 3 meters so this is also one of the disadvantages of using USB connection that if you are using a, a USB connection you cannot go very long and it cannot be uh, connected with, with the device placed somewhere very far. Maximum length is 5 meter and that is USB 2. For USB 3 th this is 3 meter. So these pros and cons I have taken from your book. 
you can see i'm going to read it you pros of the usb system devices plugged into the computer are automatically detected and device drivers are automatically loaded up the connectors can only fit one way this is also disadvantage because if you see the shape of the usb connector as i have shown here this one this is one way connector this one so if you don't insert the connector properly in usb port you can break usb port so you have to be careful when we uh, when you insert usb connector in usb port and attaching any device so it should be inserted properly otherwise it can damage your usb port then next is this has become the industry standard i have told you that most of the devices are connected by using usb port except monitors monitors are used uh, are using uh, nowadays sgmi connection uh, rather than vga in older days we used to have vga connection but now they are, it is using uh, sgmi connection but other devices most of the devices are using usb connection newer usb standards are backward compatible with the older usb standards you can use any of the usb connector to connect your usb devices in which usb connection is available you can use usb 1 usb 2 and usb 3 you will not realize but there will be a difference of data transmission cons of the usb system the present transmission rate is limited to 500 megabits per second i have told you that uh, in your book they are talking about up till uh, second generation otherwise in third generation usb 3 the maximum speed is 5 gigabits per second right so 5 500 megabits per second is for usb 2 the maximum cable length is presently about 5 meters as i told you that the usb 2 cable length or cable limitation is 5 meter otherwise usb 3 cable length limitation is 3 meter the older usb standard may not be supported in near future obviously uh, the older version of usb 1.0 uh, or older generation will be removed uh, with the seeds of time only in older computers you will find usb 1.0 otherwise newer computers are coming with usb 2.0 or usb 3 after this the next topic is sgmi ports this is also one of the ports which is available in uh, most of the newer computers right and it is far more better than it is far more better than vga so it is a replacement of vga port vga port is also used to connect uh, your uh, display devices with the computer your monitor your multimedia a uh, projector can be connected by using vga port as well as by sgmi port if it is available in it so let's see a comparison between vga port and sgmi port as i have told you that it is a replacement of vga port in older computers we used to have vga ports available and our monitors our uh, multimedia projector used to be connected by using vga ports still many computers are coming with vga ports available in it but newer computers are coming with sgmi also so if we have a choice we can connect by using sgmi or vga so let's see the comparison vga is a is using analog transmission or it is a analog medium while sgmi is a digital medium or it it is using digital transmission VGA carries only video while if you are using HDMI you don't need to use a separate cable for sound it can carry video and sound both so for example if you connect your multimedia projector by using VGA cable then you have to use a separate connection for sound by using the sound port 
but in case your multimedia projector or monitor is having hdmi connection and it is having uh, speakers also then uh, most probably you will not need to connect uh, sound output by using a separate cable hdmi can carry sound and as i have said sound and video both then vga show maximum resolution of 640 by 480 means 640 pixels and 480 pixels vertically so while uh, hdmi shows 920 by 1080 pixels 920 horizontally and 1080 vertically so you can see there is a difference of resolution also because of this resolution the uh, quality of picture is also affected and it is much better in case of hdmi so if you see a picture quality by if you are using hdmi cable will be much better than as compared to vga cable then come to uh, the colors in case if you are using vga cable it will show only 16 or 256 colors maximum in case of hdmi it can show up to 4 million colors so it is using more bits per pixel right more bits per pixel to show pixels so it can show uh, more colors many 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 more colors as compared to vga so the quality of the picture quality of the video as you can see because of this resolution and the number of colors will be far greater than vga then the frames per second shown by the vga is 60 60 hertz while hdmi can show up to 120 hertz 120 hertz means it can show it can change 120 frames per second so the smoothness of the picture or the video will be much better in case of hdmi so you can see a number of differences you can see that vga quality uh, and hdmi quality there is a lot of difference hdmi quality is much better than vga quality then a piracy can also con be controlled by using uh, hdmi because it has some uh, piracy control features also available then obviously in case if you are using hdmi as i have told you that it can show more pixels on the screen and every pixel can show 4 million colors means every pixel is using more bits to show colors as compared to vga so the required data transfer in case of hdmi is far more than vga so the speed which is required in case hdmi is being used is th that is up to 10 gigabits per second so you can say this is one of the disadvantages also now let's see some pros and cons this i have taken from your book the current standard of modern television and monitors as i have told you that modern computer and televisions newer computers and televisions are coming with hdmi connection allows for a very fast data transfer rate transfer rate i have told you 10 gigabits per second improved security so about security also i have told you that piracy can be controlled in case hdmi connection being used then support modern digital systems right then cons also there not a very robust connection easy to break connection when simply moving devices so the quality of the cable should be very good otherwise it will affect the quality of the picture limited cable length to retain good signals maximum length is is around 50 feet so if the television is placed somewhere 100 feet you cannot connect it with your computer so you have to put it somewhere closer to your computer under 50 feet now let's see some pros of the vga it is simple 
only one standard available it is easy to split the signal means if you are using a divider divider means by using you can input in that divider device and you can connect 10 monitors very easily the connection is very secure cones of the vga old outdated analog technology the quality of the picture is not good it is easy to bend the pins when making the connection just like in case of usb port this should be uh, uh, used carefully when you are using the connector of vga uh, you have to use it properly uh, according to the shape of the vga port otherwise it has pinned a number of pins in the connector which can be bent which can be broken if you don't insert it properly and if the number of pins are broken then obviously the quality of the picture will be affected the cable must be of a very high grade or and of high quality otherwise uh, picture or the image you will see on the screen will not be good so if you see that your monitor is not displaying good output and you are using vga cable then you should see the quality of the vga cable try to change it and quite possible that you will get some better output so we end our lesson here in today's lesson we have discussed sgmi port vga port and we have seen detail of usb ports also apart from it we have seen a number of ports which are available at the back of your cpu right we have had an introduction of it in next class also inshallah we will see some more details of different kinds of ports thank you very much allah hafiz